I'm so hungry. I want some oatmeal. How much lipstick's on my teeth? On my teeth. So much. Hello, it's Cherie. It's been a really long time since I filmed. I'm probably going to be looking at myself in the viewfinder. I'm very out of practice. I'm so out of practice with filming and wearing makeup that I tried to do a wing today and I don't even know what's going on on my face right now, but I'm losing my magical skills and it's real frightening. I mean, I'm rocking some Cleopatra, but that's okay because she was hot. But I'm in the mood to film, so wanted to get in front of the camera while that feeling was still here. Who knows how long it'll last. Um, but I haven't done a favorites video in, <laughs> I don't know, in like four or five months, maybe more. Uh, so I just kind of collected some things in the last couple months that have been just tooting my horn. Uh, and I thought I'd give you a little tour of all my shit, so it's going to be a while. Get a snack. Let's start out with makeup, because it is a makeup channel, and we all like to wear it, most of us sometimes, especially if you're here, maybe you. Let's talk about it. So the first thing I wanna talk about is a mascara. This is not a new product, but it is new to me. Um, I have been avoiding Pacifica because I feel like their shit is overrated and overpriced. Um, most of it, some of it is a great, great, like this thing, but mm, a lot of it is just like not pigmented, super overpriced, mostly packaging, um, bullshit. So I just don't really usually invest in their stuff, but I have been looking for a cruelty-free drugstore mascara. Um, why? I don't know, because I really like the Milani one, but I just wanted to try something different. And this is great! This is the Pacifica Natural Minerals Dream Big Ah Mascara, not eyeliner, mascara. Mm -hmm. um, I bought this mostly because of the packaging. It has unicorns on it and little gold unicorns on it and little stars and I just, and the box was really pretty. Um, and I have heard a lot of people say that they like this mascara and they're not lying. It's pretty good. I'm wearing it today. Uh, it's not like MAC level awesome. Like it doesn't give you, it doesn't give me those like come hither lashes, but it does give me a nice long naturalish lash, uh, which is what I wear daily anyway. So this is what I will wear daily. And then if I need a little boost, a little, <laughs> I might wear something different. But what's cool about it is it has just like a normal spoolie. Hold on, I just used it. <laughs> it has a normal sort of long spoolie for length and then you twist the bottom and it condenses and it gives you volume. Um, that actually is a feature that is on one of my favorite MAC mascaras. Uh, so that's kind of what sucked me into it is it's got that magical MAC sort of um, but it doesn't really give you MAC results but they're pretty good uh, so I would say that if you're looking for a natural cruelty free drugstore I think these are vegan mascara this is for you so this next product uh, I was really jazzed when I found out they were coming out with it and they were nice enough to send me um, two products and a brush, uh, and it's from Red Apple Lipstick. Red Apple Lipstick has come out with some blushes. Uh, I got to pick a color. I picked the color Koi. Koi like, so shy, not Koi like the fish. And it's a nice blushy, neutrally peachy color. I'm wearing it today. It's very pigmented, so you'd use a light hand. And then it came with a nice Red Apple Lipstick blush brush. Um, it's angled, so you can also use it with their, um, what is that called, that brown stuff? bronzer. So I did get their bronzer as well. I'm not wearing that today because I'm just not a huge bronzer raider, but this blush is bomb. It's so pretty. It's so natural. It's so neutral. It's very soft. It's very blendable. I love the brush. Like this has been on my face every day since I got it. I love this blush. The next makeup product I have been jamming on. I'm pretty sure I've featured this in a, in a, in a favorites in the past. Um, but I actually helped create this color with Notoriously Morbid. It is a highlighter in the color Cry Baby, and it is a whitish sort of blue frosty color. I'm wearing it on my inner corners currently. Um, it's super shimmery and super beautiful and super blendable, and I just love this highlighter. It makes me feel magical inside. I just, just, just. She now has uh, pressed products on her website, so I will link them down below if you guys want to go check them out. She's got a few highlighters, um, but this is my favorite. Not just because I helped create it, but because it is literally the most beautiful highlighter I've ever put on my face. Alright, one more makeup lip sort of deal. Have I talked about lips? Probably not, so it's the first one. Mm. So I've heard a lot about this product. Again, it's a drugstore item. I don't know why I haven't tried it sooner, but this is the Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Creams. Um, first of all, the packaging is adorable. Uh, I love that it comes in this tin box. I can do so much with this tin box. Um, 
It's not just like a plastic something I'm going to throw away. I could totally use this. I could put a little sewing kit in there. I could keep my lipsticks in here so they don't break, in my, break open in my purse. Like this just has lots of possibilities. You good girl. So you open it up and your little lipstick is in there. Super cute. This color is in Snapdragon. Mm, mm, mm. And I like that the box matches the color. So you can kind of get an idea of what the color is on the inside of the box without opening the packaging. Um, it is a cream matte lipstick, so it's not transfer proof. But these colors are gorgeous. It's super light on the lips. The formula is great. It's not drying. Um, you can eat with it and it sort of fades nicely, unless it's a darker color. Uh, but I love these. I cannot stop. I've got three, I think, so far. And I definitely want to go back and get more. It comes with a little spoolie, cause sort of similar to Notoriously Morbid's. Um, they're like hard and long. That's what she said. But I love these. If you guys want a cheap liquid lipstick that's matte, go check these out. They're at Walmart, I believe. This is like six bucks, so it's a score. The last makeup item I'm going to talk about is actually something <laughs> that I'm currently obsessed with. Um, I got on this kick where I wanted a vintage compact and I wanted to be able to refill that vintage compact with a refillable option just so I'm not using so much plastic packaging and throwing it away and I already love vintage and like it's so unique and cool and special. Uh, so I bought a whole bunch of vintage compacts. Um, I got all of these on eBay. I wish I'd found them while thrifting. Um, but I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm probably going to buy some more. Shree needs to cool it. Her husband's going to divorce her. Um, but what I like about it is these vintage ones, they're, they're by Stratton, which is the brand. Okay, so go, go Google some Stratton. They're from England, so you can't really get these here unless someone, like your grandmother, had her husband bring it over from the war, and then she died, and now it's on eBay. So that's how you get these, okay, because they don't sell them in America, um, unless of those reasons. I love them! So there's two different kinds. You can get a loose powder compact, which is what this one is, and just, oh, just the front. Just the front. Mm, I'm so happy. What's really cool about the loose powder compacts is when you open them, they're closed so that your loose powder doesn't fly everywhere, but then when you lean it just a little bit back, it pops. So that little kink it pops open and then you can open it up and your loose powder is in there. It comes with a little, I'm not going to pull it out because the powder will get everywhere, but it's got a little sifter so it holds your powder in place and then you can just put your brush or your, um, your makeup pad on it and tap it and put it on your face and then you just tilt the mirror forward and close it and it's done. Oh my god, it's so fancy. So anyway, this just makes my soul happy. I don't think I'll be using this one as much as the pressed one just because, you know, carrying around loose powder in your bag is a little bit questionable, but I just like the cute factor. And then the next kind that they have is called the Convertible Compact. I know because I've been researching these for like weeks. All of the words. <laughs> but these are bigger. And what's cool about these is you can pop boop, the little thing and this little circle pops up. And this is what holds your pressed powder in. But you can also use it. It comes with a filter. So you can also use it for loose if you want to. Um, so I bought this one just to see if I could find um, a compact that fit in there. This one is too big. So it's on the hold, but then I bought this one. So this one, finally, we have success. This one is my gonna be in my purse one. It's super pretty on the outside. Um, I got the all natural face pressed powder. This, this is too small. So I had to put like a piece of foam underneath it to push it up so that this will hold it in, but it works wonderfully. It will not hold a poof, but I use a buffer brush anyway. Uh, so this is my new compact, new pressed powder compact. So excited. I'm wearing the All Natural Face Foundation today. This is, I'm wearing this exact one. It's on my face, uh, but I love it. I forgot how much I love All Natural Face Powdered Foundations. So I'm obsessed. Two obsessions and one combined. All right, let's move on to some like uh, body and beauty and health and all that. Mm -hmm. So I hauled this, uh, my last iHerb haul, which will be my last iHerb haul because I'm not shopping with them anymore, but I got a dry brush. Um, this one is ouchy. It's super, I don't know why I've left this on. I've been using it. Um, but it's super itchy and, um, it's a little harsh for my skin, but I loved it so much, the feeling of dry brushing, that I got this one from EcoTools and it's much softer, so I'm excited to give this one a try. Uh, all you do is before you get in the shower, you just brush your skin in an upwards motion. And I cannot describe to you how delightful it feels to, like, lightly abrasion all of your body and then get into hot water. It's like 
Spa Day McDa Day. It is so good. I feel very like when I get in the shower. So if you do not dry brush, you should. It reduces cellulite. It gets rid of dead skin. Um, it's good for your circulation. Look it up. There's lots of reasons to do it. Go dry brush yourself. Also in my last iHerb haul, I got this toothpaste from, uh, blah, 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 from Heritage. Uh, it's the charcoal toothpaste. I really like this a lot. Um, I think if you're looking for a natural toothpaste, this is good. It has a good taste. It's not it's not heavily charcoal-y or pepperminty. Um, it is black because charcoal is for whitening. So it's black, so I love that it's black. Uh, but it's not it's not as good as like straight up charcoal. So I would suggest that you still do full charcoal treatments on your teeth for whitening and then follow up with this daily. Um, because I don't think this is going to give you much results on its own, but it is a great addition if you do charcoal for whitening. So I have been loving this. I've been using it after I do charcoal treatments, so definitely give it a try. This is another EcoTools product. I recently got these a couple weeks ago because I wanted something that I could use to remove my makeup that was not a makeup wipe. Again, I feel really bad when I use this kind of products because I feel like they're just filling up landfills. I can't compost them. Um, they're just sitting in my trash can. They're expensive. So I got these. These are the EcoTools muslin polishing cloths. And they're washable. So they're just these little white like washcloths. They're super thin. They have a little tab so you can hang them to dry. Um, it says that you can use them like three times, then wash, and then reuse. Uh, they are white. So like the one that I have in my bathroom is black from all my mascara. But they feel so soft on your face but also like they're getting the stuff off. So I have been using these to wash my face with and to remove my makeup. Um, I bought multiple packs so that I could have like a, like a full set of them. They are about $5 for two of them, but I don't think that's bad. I've just been loving these. They're just great for your face. They remove the makeup. They're soft. They're reusable. Save that planet. Fuller, my makeup cleaner. I have to thank Shudra Stargleam, Andrea here on, no, Shudra Stargleam here on YouTube, Andrea in real life. Uh, she mentioned that she'd been using, ow, this Burt's Bees cleansing oil to get off uh, her makeups and I wanted to try it because that's like the hardest thing for me is when I do a makeup look I usually do like a really dark color and like lots of liner and it just takes forever to get the mascara, the liner, everything off my face like days it just sits in my eyelashes and I can't get it off this is the closest I've ever come to completely clean um, it's very light, it does burn my eyes a little bit <laughs> like um, after I wipe it all off and everything's off my face it does feel a little burny so I just kind of blink a lot, but it's great and I use it. It smells really good. It also gets the makeup off your face. You just rub it with the oil and then you don't have to moisturize. Like it just doesn't strip your skin. It's real nice, very delicate. Mm. Also Burt's Bees is Logical Harmony approved now. Um, I will leave a link down to Logical Harmony below if you want more info on cruelty freeness. Um, but I think it's La Burt's Bees and Hourglass, I think. There's two that in the last couple weeks have become back in the good graces. So I'm real excited. I don't know if I've ever talked about diffusers on my channel, but I'm very into diffusers. I just bought another one so that I have one in both locations of my house that I'm in most of the time. So my kitchen and my bedroom. Uh, and I wanted to share like a little combo that I, it's very basic, it's not exciting. But this is my favorite oil combo lately that has just been uplifting my spirit and making me sleep nice and my house smell real good. And it's rosemary and lavender. I love the Now brand just because it's cost effective. They're pretty easy to come by um, and they have really nice spouts for pouring or for shaking out, I guess. Um, but I love this scent combo together. It's just, it's like herbally and floral. It's soothing, it's relaxing, but also sometimes I'll add some lemon or peppermint if I wanna jazz it up for a little bit more energizing feel. Love these, love. I'm gonna go burn them as soon as I leave this room. So a couple of months ago, I decided that I needed to get some new glasses and I found this company online called firmu.com. They have really cheap glasses. Um, and they were having a buy one get one free sale, so I got four pairs. Mm. Well, I guess technically I got three pairs of glasses and a pair of sunglasses, but I have been loving these glasses. I wear them all the time. I always get compliments on them, so I thought I'd just show them to you real quick, real fast, because they are a favorite. First of all, they come in these super cute little containers. They're very hard, very sturdy, and I just, I just love them. You can find a style for your face, like, definitely. They have so many. So this is the first pair. It's just a very chunky, sort of nerdy one. I love these. These make me so happy. <laughs> these are like my um, everyday hanging out glasses. They're just, they're chunky and cute and I love that they're a little bit weird shaped right here. I like it. Of course, you know I had to get some cat eyes because vintage -y is my life, but these are super light. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them, 
but they're very lightweight. They feel like feathers on my face. They're, they're so light that I'm almost worried I'm going to break them. But I like that they have a slight cat eye. They're clear down here, which is, takes a little bit used, getting used to for me. Sorry, the glare. Um, but I love these. Super cute. And the last pair of eyeglasses I got was just a basic black pair. I love these. These are probably the ones I wear the most. They need to be cleaned. <laughs> um, but I love that they, I love the shape. I think they're very flattering. I like that they're cute. I like them. And this last pair makes me feel fancy as fuck because I've never had a prescription pair of sunglasses. I've also never paid more than like $10 for a pair of sunglasses. So these were like 50 bucks, but totally worth it. Um, hello. I love these. They're like red and orange reflective, tinted. I don't know what that's called, but I can see in the sun when I'm driving. It's amazing, guys. I didn't even know how blind I was in the sun and blind until I got these. Like if you don't have prescription sunglasses, if you wear glasses, like stop right now and go and get some. They're amazing. <laughs> um, but I love these. I love the shape. Again, the color. Just my jam, guys. Go check out Fermu. I'll link them down below. This is not a sponsored video. I paid for all of these. All right, then some lifestyle stuff. Oh yeah, uh, uh. So I have found Planner Peace and I thought you guys should know about it because I have gone through so many planners and not been happy with any of them and I finally have Planner Peace. I got this at Michael's. Um, I'm not sure what this is called. Is it insertable planner? I don't know. Um, but I like that it's floral. It's not my favorite. Like I, if I had other options, I wouldn't have picked the floral, but it's pretty, it's cute. You know, it's blue and pink, mm. but you buy inserts for it and then you can just put them in on your own. So I bought the inserts, <laughs> but you have to, you do have to like input everything like on your own. Um, which is fine for me, but uh, it has like, I like this sort of spread. So this is what I've been doing. Um, I like that it has all the notes in the back. I really like, <sighs> I really like that it has a space for a notebook because then I can put my grocery list in here or like any other little lists that I want to list up. And then I also bought the page hole cruncher thing so that if I want to save a list that I make, I just pop holes in it and I can just pop it right in. Then I got my to-do list. Let's kill myself. I got my to-do list laminated so that I can write my cleaning lists on it. Like this, oh God, it's great. And then it has like pockets where I can like put coupons and like save stuff. I love, oh, and a pen holder. It has a pen holder. This has everything that I've been trying to get in a planner, but in one. And I got this when they were having a super sale, like 50% off all planner supplies, but Michael's always has 50 and 60% off coupons. So you can totally go and get this. Just. Ah, planner piece. If it's in my bag, it's soft, it's durable, it's safe. Ah, I'm just so fucking organized. I'm not really sure what this would be considered, but I've been going through some uh, negative thoughts lately. Just feeling a little negative sometimes, a little grumpy, a little, little down on myself. Um, so I started a gratitude journal. I talked about this on my Snapchat, so if you follow me on Snapchat, you might already have heard me yak about this, but I just bought a little tiny notebook and all I do is every day I write down little things that have made me happy that day so that if I'm having a down day or I'm not feeling good, I can just look over this list and like think about the, that exact moment and then I'm just like instantly uplifted. Like it's just like hot coffee and pretty mugs and Dexter, my chihuahua, chasing bumblebees. Like that, that kind of stuff that you see every day, it's small and you just don't, don't take the time sometimes to appreciate those little things, but they really add up to like an awesome life. So breakfast in the garden. I mean, like I just, these are like happy, my happy thoughts. These are my marbles in written sloppy handwriting form. Accessory that I have been digging lately is a ring that I bought myself for my birthday. Um, I've been, I, I've been wanting a moon, uh, moonstones speak to me. They're like my favorite stone next to labradorite, however you say that word, labradorite, labradorite. I don't know how to say that, but next to those, like, those are my two favorite stones, but I think moonstone wins. But I wanted a moonstone ring that fit on my pointer finger because um, I have rings that fit on every other finger except for my pointer one. It's my fattest one. So I ordered a ring, a moonstone one, and it's amazing. I've had this for a few months, um, so I feel comfortable sharing it with you guys, and I will link the shop down below. He's on vacation right now, but you can either private message him if you want a ring, or you can wait until he's open and order one. But he has all sorts of different stones, and they're amazingly beautiful, and he's so talented, and it's gorgeous. Um, but here's my moonstone. So I love this ring. It's got lots of little details on it. 
lots of little filigree. I love the little spokes that are in the center. It's big, so like I feel like it's a statement, but not too big. It fits on my pointer finger. Oh God, I just, I love it. It has a beautiful rainbow shift, very well made. Every time I look at it, I just get excited. It's like my favoriteest ring now. And the last thing is a book. This is a book that I have been reading. Um, I've been very interested and in, into Victorian stuff lately. That's probably what this is not Victorian, but like I've just been very into like trying to live an older style life. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, but I picked up this book called This Victorian Life. I took the cover off because I hate book covers. Um, but it is a book written by a couple who lived their entire actual real life as Victorian people. So like they only use Victorian things. They dress like Victorians. They live in a Victorian house. Um, and it's been very interesting. I'm halfway through. Uh, it's really good. It's very interesting. I devoured that that first half in like the first weekend that I had it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, I would never like convert my entire lifestyle to that. And obviously they do have some technologies because they wrote a book and they have a website. Um, but it's just very interesting. Uh, and if you're into Victorian stuff, you should check this out. I got a whole bunch of other Victorian books, but I haven't really started them yet. Uh, so maybe they'll be in my next favorites. But yeah, I've just been digging this book. So that is all of my favorite things over the last couple of months. I know it was a lot of stuff, but it's been a really long time since I've done a video like this. Uh, I, I hope to be back in the filming mood soon. I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's I got no excuses. I don't know what's wrong with me. It just seems like a lot of work to put on makeup and try and come up with content lately. But I'm, I really want to try and get better with that because I miss you guys a lot. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for sticking around and I will hopefully see you in my next video, which will hopefully be next week. Fingers crossed. Bye!